Today is a day for truth. The world needs to know what happened and to know what he stands for. That kind of power is very dangerous. Let the record show that this committee holds him responsible. That's how it starts. The fever. The rage that turns good men. Cruel. This bat vigilante is like a one-man reign of terror. You don't get to decide what the right thing is. Nobody cares about Clark Kent taking on the Batman. This means something. It's all some people have. It's all that gives them hope. People hate what they don't understand. Be their hero, Clark. Be their angel. Be their monument. Be anything they need you to be. Or be none of it. You don't owe this world a thing. You never did. Do you know the oldest lie in America, Senator? The devils don't come from hell beneath us. They come from the sky. 20 years in Gotham, how many good guys are left? How many stayed that way? He has the power to wipe out the entire human race. are coming. Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to Dweeb Factory. I'm shooting from my home studio real quick, mostly because the greatest trailer I have seen in the past lifetime? Yeah, lifetime just dropped during San Diego Comic-Con in Hall H. It's Batman v Superman, the full three-minute trailer. Guess what? They showed up to Comic-Con, and they kicked Disney and Marvel in the face and won. Again, second year in a row. Not just the same studio, the same movie one, Batman v Superman. Let's jump right into my trailer review. Batman was present in Man of Steel. So we saw that in the trailer, he's saving people, jumping around Metropolis, pans out, shows Wayne Tower, him. He was there, and that's actually why he starts hating Superman. He sees this being that is able to destroy worlds, and he sees it as a threat and needs to put it out, which... As humans, we can see that, and uh, it's kind of interesting to see that dynamic. Cutting to Superman, his point of view is, well, I am a god, and why shouldn't I help save you? Um, understandable point, too. That's why I'm so excited to see this movie, and I kind of feel at the same point that they put it in the whole title in a lawyer text, Batman v. Superman, which you see that in legal terms, you know, Dawson versus Adams. So... I'm really excited. I hope there's lots of debates about what's right and wrong. I hope nobody just picks one or the other because I'm kind of torn between both of them. 
Um, got to see Martha Kent really talking to um, Superman, just saying, you don't owe these people anything. You can just leave. You can just quit, um, which Superman kind of has done sometimes. He's gone, gone on his hiatus and left and came back. And ultimately, by the end of the day in DC Comics, he is our savior, which is really sacrilegious, but he is like, he's the ultimate power within that universe. And that makes a big threat for everybody else. So it kind of gives a reason after man of steel, there's all this destruction for all these heroes to come together. Cause he's kind of like this beacon of power, but it's kind of scary. And people are like, well, Superman would never do anything. Well, if you guys ever watch, uh, Batman Beyond, please watch. There's actually a couple episode run where actually Superman did go evil and did go crazy. And that could totally happen. Um, So that's a little bit about that dynamic. Kevin and I are going into a full Comic-Con breakdown here this next week, so please watch for that. But we got to see Lex Luthor with all of his beautiful blonde Goldilocks, Hannah Montana hair. Don't be upset about it, people. He's going to lose it by, like, chemical fire, like, kryptonite exposure, and it'll be, like, character developing, which is fine. It will be fine. Um, Jesse Eisenberg? I don't know. This is the first time we actually see him have a lot of dialogue. He says, the, like, the weird thing about, The Red Capes are coming. The Red Capes are coming. Um, dude, I've seen you act better in Zombieland. What happened? Like, really? I don't know. Just hopefully I see some better stuff in the trailer. We saw Kryptonite. Whatever. I guess you got to bring something into this universe. Um, I'm on a negative tangent, so we're just talking about Zod. No. Stop. Don't play with Zod's body. Just leave it alone. Just don't touch it. The rumor is, is that they take Zod's body and they experiment on it and they make creatures with it. I don't want that. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Like, Luke, just leave it. He's dead. He, the guy wasn't that bad. Just stop messing with his body. And this trailer was on the tip of revealing a little too much. And when I saw Zod's body being zipped up in the body bag, bad. But we got to see Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. Yes, the 30 seconds she was in this trailer made me a man. I wasn't sure if I hit puberty before but i know i did now because that was great great so a lot of people question she should be in the movie she's not real like a huge actress with a lot of roles and proven you know proven acting ability i don't care that 30 seconds should prove to you even if she shuts up the whole time and runs around and kicks batman in the face she'll do a great job has great screen presence i'm excited to see her i'm so Jeremy Irons. I'm really excited to see Jeremy Irons as Alfred. I was like, you're excited to see Alfred? Yes, I am excited to see Alfred because, you know, when you were a kid and you got scared because you heard of Scar from Lion King, that was Jeremy Irons' voice, chilling your bones as a small child and giving you nightmares for years. He is our new Alfred because he's a great, he has a great voice. And uh, the best dialogue he put into the trailer was him talking about, you know, Batman kind of getting cynical. His building got blown up. He's been retired for a couple of years. And him turning cruel, like his own passions are like, and his own his own ideals are just so overpowering him, it makes him do cruel things. So I'm really excited to see the movie. I'm glad I got to see the panel. Um, guys, please watch our main show. We have Dweeb Factory News every single Thursday night at the Geek House in Dallas. Email us at gmail.com at dweebfactorytx. Thanks so much, guys. You guys have a great night. Bye. Um, That's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm so excited to see this trailer. I actually can talk about this forever. Please watch for me and Kevin's breakdown of the whole Comic-Con, the whole panel from Batman v Superman. Lots of us don't have time to watch the full 30-minute panel. You're going to watch me and Kevin break it down in simple bites. Please watch for it. You guys have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye. How's it going, guys? If you like that video and you want to see more, please click the subscribe button. Also, follow us on Twitter, at Dweeb Factory. 
or email us directly all your questions, thoughts, and opinions at dweebfactorytx at gmail.com. And as always, peace out, Girl Scout. Boom!